Video 8 uh, of the fractions video series. We're adding fractions today. Very exciting. Now we'll start off with having a look at adding fractions with the same bottoms. So we have two fractions here, uh, two fifths plus one fifth. Not a bad rule this one. If they've got the same bottoms it's uh, pretty straightforward. Step one is to add across the top. So we add the two and the one and make three across the top. And we keep the bottoms the same. So the bottom of our answer there is is 5. And we just check, we'll, we'll think every time, can we simplify this final answer down, 3 fifths? Well, there's no other numbers other than 1 that can divide into 3 and 5. So we don't have to simplify anything this time. But any time we get a fraction answer, we should check whether we can, uh, we can simplify. So we added across the top, we kept the bottoms the same, and we saw that we couldn't quite simplify it any further downwards. So we're done there. That's the rules. Add across the top, keep the bottoms the same, and simplify if you can. Okay, in this case, uh, 5 tenths and 3 tenths, they have the same bottoms. So we'll add across the top. It creates 8 on the top there. If we keep the bottoms the same, we get 8 over 10. Now, when we check to see if we can simplify here, can you see these are both even numbers here? So 2 can divide into the top and bottom here. So we'll have to do that. Any time we get a fraction that's not simplest, we'll have to try and get it to be the simplest. We'll divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. 8 divided by 2 on top there becomes a 4 and 10 divided by 2 on the bottom becomes a 5. So the simpler version of 8 over 10 is 4 over 5. Okay, now adding fractions with different bottoms is a bit trickier. And step one, now, now here's two fractions, they've got different bottoms, so let's have a look. We've got to make the bottoms the same. Now as you know from your previous work, perhaps uh, we've got to try and pick a number that 3 and 5 can both go into. So in this case we're going to pick 15 for turning them both into that. So what we'll do is to have a think about how we do that. Now what have we done to that 3 to make 15? We have multiplied by 5. So the rule is we've got to do the same to the top. So when when we multiply the top by 5, I think you can see that we might get 10 on the top there. Oh, that's true. Okay, for the second uh, fraction, turning that into something over 15, we would have had to multiply the bottom 5 by 3. The rule is whatever we do to the bottom, we've got to do to the top. So if we multiply the top by 3, I think you'll find we'll get a 3 on the top. OK, so we've changed them to have the same bottoms. And now we go through the process that we just described previously when we had the same bottoms. We add across the top, so 10 plus 3 is 13. And we keep the bottoms the same, 15. And just to, just to check the last bit, we see if we can simplify. In this case, we can't, so we'll leave it there. So when we haven't got the same bottoms to begin with, we make them into the same bottoms and then we do the method for uh, adding fractions with the same bottoms. So just keep our wits about us. We ask ourselves, you know, have we got the same bottoms already? If not, let's make it happen. Okay, another example. Two different uh, fractions with two different bottoms. So our step one is to make the bottoms the same. So I hope you're getting the hang of this, that uh, the bottoms we're going to choose is uh, to make them both out of 12, because 4 and 3 both go into 12. One quick way of finding a number they both go into is to multiply the two bottoms together and use that number for your, for your new bottoms. Okay, so let's check out how we properly turn 1 quarter into something over 12. We will have multiplied that bottom by 3. And the rule is we've got to do the same to the top. So if we multiply that by 3, I think you'll, you'll be guessing that 1 times 3 is 3 on the top. So look how we turn the 2 thirds into something over 12. We would have multiplied the bottom by 4. Got to do the same to the top by 4. 2 times 4 is 8, I predict. Oh, yeah. OK, so we've turned uh, 1 quarter plus two-thirds into three-twelfths plus eight-twelfths. Now they've got the same bottoms, we add across the top. Three plus eight is twelve, and keep the bottoms the same. And once again, we're lucky because we don't have to simplify it any further. Nothing except for the number one goes into eleven and twelve, so we don't have to worry about simplifying that any further. 
Okay, a bit trickier. And when they've got different bottoms, we've got to make the same bottoms and then go from there. Using a calculator, of course, uh, it's a blessing because we can just type the sum into your calculator. And step two is not so tricky. We press equals and the calculator nicely gives us an answer. So, uh, you know, know how to do it in your head. But also, if you've got a calculator available, at least check on your calculator or do it totally on your calculator if you're allowed to. Okay, that's uh, adding fractions. Hope that helps. Watch it over and over if you're not sure. And uh, we'll move on to other fractiony things. Thanks for listening.